being persecuted, we suffer, we do. Right. Uh -huh. Being defamed, we entreat, we encourage. Do right. you see the difference between the Christian and the folk who experience worldly success? Amen. Right. It seems all like right. everybody who can dunk a basketball or hit a home run or toss a football can all of a sudden become a political scientist, economic right. specialist, my and even politics. And you run that right long behind them. When they have experienced what you experience, they don't want to pay or pay any pain. Preach cause preach cause well. Preach it. Economic depression, they talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can program a parent to talk about it. All right, all right, all right. come on now. The standard, mm -hmm. what God requires, preach mm -hmm. about And I know Paul is talking about preachers in the text, I want to tell you that in a minute, but, right. but he really requires this for everybody. 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 Obedience. Faithfulness okay. and Christ-like character. All right. I just gave you a few examples of that in verse 12 there. Uh -huh. The Apostle Paul is speaking about Christian ministers in the verses in our text. He started this dialogue in chapter 3 and just ran on over uh -huh. into chapter 4. Because the problem was people were saying, I'm with this because you get all the time now. Oh, you tell you what church will tell you what pastor they will. Amen. Uh, as if that pastor can preach right, ahead of all another pastor. Well, Don't judge them out the crowd. All right. All right. All right. You just look for obedience. Amen. Faithfulness. My and Christ-like character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, but he wants to uh, say it, talk about preaching, but what he says applies to every Christian. He was addressing some of the problems that the congregation at Corinth was having with certain ministers. We must be careful to avoid extremes. Uh huh. We have to be careful. We call it minister. We got to be careful to avoid extremes. Sometimes we can go to the street where we're so lack of business about it, we'll just let it back. Amen. Amen. On the other hand, we're so strict. Uh -huh. and, and so rules are regulated uh -huh. that even Paul wouldn't qualify to be a minister. Uh -huh. the well. Yeah, we got to be careful about that. We are told in 1 John 4 that we ought to try the spirits. All right. But while you're trying the spirit, be careful that we don't read the spirit. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. some of us can talk very religious and look very religious. All right, now. Preach God's way. Yeah, in the church. Preach God's way. leaders. And neither did any criminal ever ran across in the streets. I know, amen. So we need to be careful that we know what the requirements are. And, and, and I gave you the main one faithfulness. Uh -huh. Come look at somebody and say, Faithfulness. 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 That's what God requires. You can have all these talents, right. and it's good to have talents. I love to have smart people around you. Uh -huh. They help me. Amen. But what I really need is faithful. Because talented people may be here today, go on tomorrow. Amen. The talent took them somewhere else. Amen. The gift took them somewhere else. The faithful folks. Mm -hmm. First of all, they understand that our paths are directed, our steps are directed by God. Amen. God would not require us to accomplish something that He first did not equip us with what we need to get there. All right. Faithfulness. Paul, Paul identified himself, Peter, and Apollos to the church members that Corinth as ministers of Christ. He said, you can say pastor, and apostle, evangelist, evangelist, and whatever, but look at verse 1. He said, but let a man so account of us, consider us as the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. The translation of the word used for minister simply means on the rowers. It was a word that was used to describe the slaves who rowed in the galley down in the bottom of the Roman ships. In other words, he said, y'all got us all puffed up here, but you really need to consider us as on the rowers. We, we don't own the ship. We don't even work on the top yet. We work at the bottom of the ship. All right. Service. You can even go so far as to use the word slave. What Paul was saying simply is, we are not the captains of the ship. 
but only the galley slaves who are under orders. So how can one slave all, right, all, right. all those creatures are down here just going? Because we don't own the ship. Right. Okay, every now and then you hear a real dark call preacher will tell you right away, King Jesus is my captain. Amen. I'm just rowing. Right. Rowing. Stewards. That's what he uses. Steward. Yeah. Paul explains to us the image of a steward. A steward is a servant who manages everything for his master, uh -huh. but who himself owns nothing. Right. He belongs to the master, and everything that he handles belongs to the master. All right. Stewards of the mysteries of God. Break it down. But what is this mystery? It's the truth of the power of God to save uh -huh. through faith in Jesus Christ. That's the mystery. Uh -huh. All right. It's the truth as it has been revealed, of God's power to save. All right. It must be a mystery because I see most sinners seem like they're supposed to live by their soul. Amen. He said, but we are just stewards. In other words, we are just doing what the master called us, saved us, All right. healed us, yeah. delivered us, and blessed us to do. So we do not live our lives according to our own whatever we want to do in the world. We do what the master tells us to do. Man. We serve what the master tells us to serve. Amen. Because if we go out on our own, we lose that power wow. that comes from being mm -hmm. obedient. Are y'all still with me? Amen. A steward is a servant who manages everything for his master. You, you would hear every time this same prophet he used to say, my life is not known. Right. Yes, to him, I belong. Yes, I give myself. Amen. I give myself away. Amen. Some of y'all say that pretty good. As right. yeah. soon as you leave the church, you cut yourself like that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Let me go sing that song which I said to myself. All right. Preach God. Preach God. You forgot all about you gave yourself away. All right now. Now I said to myself, but listen, Joseph was a good example of that. You remember recall that he was the chief steward uh -huh. in Potiphar's house. He didn't own anything in that, but he was over everything. All right. How about that? Son doesn't own anything but over everything. Right. That's not really a good preacher. If he's on the church, and that church is tough. Church belongs to the law. I'm just ruling. The church is the household of faith. And the ministers are the stewards who share God well with the family. In other words, if you really want to be taught, then the information is available. It's the preacher's job to get it out to you. He tells you the mysteries of God. And again, I said the mystery is the truth uh -huh. of God's power to save. Right. So let's talk about the truth for just a second. I'm trying to get on out your way. If something is true, then it ought to be believed. Amen. 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 If it's true, it when, when you're exposed to it, when you hear it, when you experience it, then you ought to believe it. Amen. There's no judge uh -huh. or jury. A real judge and jury anywhere will convict somebody unless they believe what the accuser was presenting was the truth. Hmm. Somebody don't say amen. Aren't you glad it's that way? Yes. Amen. Amen. Somebody has to believe what is presented to be the truth before anybody can be convicted of anything. Let me tell you a good truth. For all that sin. Amen. For all the glory of God. Everybody needs to say it. The way to sin is God. And give the God we tell life to Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's the truth. Amen. Amen. When you hear the truth, you all to believe it. And when you believe it, you all to act on it. Amen. I wish I had one with me. Preach God, man. Amen. The responsibility of the steward 
This is, this is an open book text. All right. It's it answered right there in verse 3. The responsibility of the steward is to be faithful right. to his master. Verse 2. Try to take my time for half a second. You don't need to take half a second. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. He got to be faithful to his master. So what would everybody get mad with you because of the decision that you made? Stay faithful to your master. Stay faithful. A steward may not please the members of the household. All right. He may not please some of the other servants. All right. But if he pleases his own master, All right. when the day is he is indeed a good steward. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I will use the example that is given in Scripture. So the main issue to you is not how popular is Paul or is a pastor a better preacher than Paul. The main issue is have Paul, Apollos, and Peter been faithful to the work which God has called them to do. If a servant of God is faithful in his personal life, in his home, and in the ministry of the world, then he is a good steward. And one day, he will be greatly rewarded. Can I give a witness? But a servant, he'll get his reward, but he's constantly being judged. Uh -huh. And what I want to tell you today is a hurry to get out of your way. And then not only will God reward faithfulness when we get home. Uh -huh. But if you're really faithful in your work for the Lord, uh -huh. now he on up. Whatever it is, he has called and purpose for you to do and accomplish in the church, mm -hmm. God will even reward your work sometimes. Not him. Yeah. So other folks can uh -huh. see your life. All right, all right. But you already know. Milo. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yes. 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 I can use myself for an example. All right. Because see, I know a little bit about me. Uh -huh. I can recall when I had a position. As a chief of a little agency with about six full time people and two or three part timers. All right, all right. And my supervisor, Mr. Bob King, told me one day, he said, Mike, me and Miss Marge have been talking about you. Uh -huh. We think y'all are here more than what you owe. All right, all right. I said, Mr. Bob, I am so honored that you and Miss Margaret think that it's time you say that. But I'm doing the best I can. All right, all right. With a little crew that I have. The next thing you know, God has put me in a position right. where I'm supervising hundreds of folks. All right. And even now, I'm the most of them. Yeah. Amen. Because I stop going my way. Yeah. Yeah. Stop going God's way. Amen. Even in our Uh huh. we started out 20 something years ago. Little building. Oh, yeah. Nowhere out of park. Yeah. Little lot. Uh huh. Few people. And God knows it got rough. Sometimes I thought about going in the tower with my hitters and moving on to something else. But something said, you got to stay faithful. Don't try to please people that are pleased with the master. And one thing I found out is that when you make it your business uh, to be faithful to the master, God will uh, take care uh, of you. Uh,
when he put his spirit in me, and that's what he did for you. Yeah. But you gotta be faithful, right. obedient, yeah. and have a godlike character. Yeah. Right. 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 Rewarded the servant of Matthew 25. He said, You were first faithful over a few things. Now, uh -huh, I'm going to make you lose over me. You were faithful over one song. You didn't try to get all the songs. Uh, you were faithful over one song. Uh, and since you were so faithful uh, over one song, uh, I'll give you another song. Uh, and since you worked so hard on two songs, uh, I'm going to give you another song.
But sometimes you got to be careful. The Bible says when a man thinking that he's standing as he falls. Sometimes we, got, we do not really know ourselves as well as we think we do. We think that we have arrived to such a point that we go around, put down other folk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you better watch yourself. Amen. We can go out on the record and everyone else about what other folks have done. But can I caution you today? Uh, you better be careful about that thing uh, because the very thing uh, that you scandalize in other folks of God uh, and bad not in other folks of God uh, put in the same situation uh, but in the same circumstances you do the same thing. So much you don't drink as much as you used to. You don't smoke as much as you used to. Right. Still not. You still have to But that's not what the thought requires. What it requires is where you think. Can I count on you to do what you're supposed to do? Show them where you're supposed to show up. And show up when you show up. Yeah. Yeah. You see. You see. Oh, well, wow. clean at the boat of here. You see. You <laughs> see. Some of us consider ourselves to be mighty right. All right. All right. But in reality, uh -huh. we're mighty right wrong. Yeah. Watch that. Judge the other man. Watch how you judge yourself. Huh? But here's the judgment that really got the third one that all hits on now. Huh? It is found uh, uh -huh, in verse 4. For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified. But he that judges me uh, is the Lord. Yeah. He said, Y'all can say what you want to, uh, do what you want to, uh, but the one uh, who can really judge me uh, yeah. is the one uh, who called me uh, yeah. when I was not doing wrong. Uh, yeah.
appeal before the judgment seat of Christ and then answer for the deeds that we've done in this body. Right. Not, not what my enemy did. Not what my kid folk did. Right. Not what my brother or my sister did. Yeah. But we must answer for the deeds uh, that we've done in this body. Uh, whether they be good uh, or whether they be bad. They call it The true facts. My Lord. Will be revealed. Uh huh. And the faithful servant shall be rewarded. Yeah. Paul goes on to talk in verse 6. Uh, he ends up uh, with a rebuke to the Corinthian Christians. He said, You see, the big problem is uh, you are judging uh, God's servant uh, at the wrong time. Uh, and God all right. Uh, he said, when the Lord returns, uh, he will evaluate the life uh, and the ministry uh, of his servant. Uh, he said, watch out. Uh, don't you try to elevate yourself uh, into God's place uh, and start trying to judge uh, another man's servant uh, when you don't know uh, enough about him uh, to make an accurate judgment. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, Paul said, wait. Till the Lord returns, uh, and He will uh, evaluate uh, the service uh, and the ministry uh, of His teachers, uh, of His steward. Uh, some uh, may have but what was fire uh, with smoke, uh, some with brick, uh, some with gold, uh, but it will be tested. Uh, and even if it was stone, uh, this steel uh, might get injured, uh, but that won't stop it from being. Yeah. <laughs> 
just got so many folks in Mount Lebanon. Lebanon has a long story. Somebody don't clap their hands. There's so many folks in Mount Lebanon that have a long story. So they have a short story and a mid-range story. Everybody has a story. And at the end of your story, I want you to be like me. Waiting to him. From him. From him. Because I can say I did well all I want to do now. I got to hear from him because I work with my donkey. And so do you. Let's go speak about the one another. If somebody did something good, tell them. All right. Tell them. Amen. I'm going to tell you, brother, if you tell me. Amen. You're going to say something to help you. And keep praying for me while you tell me. Amen. Because God has called all of us. got a plan and a purpose for every single one of us. And all the storms that you went through were to prepare you for where he's bringing you to. Amen. Now, you're not going to be so mad about the storm.
We pray that we do that. Did anybody have anything to run on? Right. Right. We ask that you take it away from us. Yes. Right, right, right. Yes. right now in your name of Jesus. Be blessed with your action in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> 